Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a different opinion. Thank you very much for all the support. We've hit 250 subscribers, a quarter of the way to 1,000, which is massive, right? And this is what I want to do. I want to just show everyone news from around the world, which obviously the mainstream media doesn't really cover, maybe in your country or even your own country, right? But more and more, you'll be able to see, you know, different opinions on different things as well. And the more and more we get bigger, then obviously the more comments we'll get with different opinions as well, which is just very interesting because obviously we don't all have the same opinions. And the more and more they keep forcing these ideologues on us, right? All these wokeness, we seem to realize how different we are, that we don't want to be pushed in one direction. We want our own thoughts and we want our own opinions, right? So if you do want to join, um, with a different opinion, please subscribe below the video, get notified when the new videos are posted. I'm trying to do one at least daily. I do still have to go to work and do have a busy schedule. So it is at different times every day. Also, please comment, like I said, with your thoughts and also like the videos that you like and dislike even the videos you dislike. So let's jump straight into this one here. This one is from Melbourne, Australia in Victoria, the state. And I mean, this is just insanity. So Melbourne, just for anyone who doesn't know who's not from Australia, Melbourne is like the San Francisco of Australia. It is the super woke, ridiculous um, city, like very beautiful city, you know, everything like that, good people down there, but just the super wokeness where they've taken it next level. So I'll jump straight into this one. It is from news.com.au, um, from Jessica Wang. And so what this is, is Furries Australia. So a year eight Melbourne private school girl identifies as a cat. So year eight is about, you know, grade seven, maybe for, you, for anyone who's not used to year, um, which is just insane, identifies as a cat. So a Melbourne private school is supporting a student's choice to identify as a cat. So the school is actually backing her a source close to the family has reportedly disclosed. So they're reportedly <laughs> supporting this year eight student. So what's that? I mean, you'd be year eight. Yeah, that's oh, maybe 12. Yeah, around 12 years old, I think. Just before 13, which is just ridiculous. Um, so the Herald Sun reports the phenomenally bright child has been allowed to assume the identity with the behavior linked to the furry subculture that has been adopted by some teen circles. No one seems to have a protocol for students identifying as animals, but the approach has been that if it doesn't disrupt the school, everyone is being supportive, said a source close to the family. This is the direction we are heading in. I mean, you see in America, this is happening more and more all the time. Like I said, it is coming here to Australia more and more as well, like we can see right now. When, when does the point where someone just goes to a student or a kid and says, Look, you're not an animal. You're not a cat, right? You're a mammal. You are not a cat. You don't have all this hair growing off your body. You do not look like this. Why do you... I'll quickly just bring up a couple of little videos of fairies, right? And this is to show you this is the direction this kid's going. Here we have a little example for you. This is what a fairy is here. So it's fairy here on the right. Okay, hi guys. So my name's Dasha. I'm a furry. And I'm going to be teaching you guys some ways that my friends and I meow to one another to communicate when words just seem a little too difficult. So, here we go. Okay, so first off, we have the normal meow that we just use mostly to get each other's attention. Meow. Yep, so this is what this kid wants to be, right? And the school supporting this. Okay, then we have the dissatisfied meow. Then the angry meow, but we only use this one on rare occasions because overall we're a very happy kid and family. Meow. Then the happy or content meow. Imagine like being the family of this kid, right? And just being like, you know what? Yeah, be a cat. As long as it's not affecting your schoolwork, you can be a cat. Meow. Okay, then one of the most important ones for our kid and family. You just imagine like... You know, whatever the daughter's name is, you got to go and clean your room. And she'll be like, meow. How, just how stupid is this? Seriously, like, how is this a thing? It took me a really long time to master this meow because it, it needs to be a really specific 
in order for my kittens to understand. Okay, this is the most important meow for me, and it's the I need help wiping meow. Okay, this is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, the school is supporting a freaking kid that's 13 years old to be this. The, the behavior is being normalized. Now more and more people are identifying as whatever they want to identify with, including furries. Although the school didn't confirm the, the girl's attendance, they said that their approach to mental health is always unique to the student and will take it into account professional advice and the well-being of the student. Early this year in Michigan, a state in the U.S. Midwest, the school was forced to debunk claims that it had implemented a litter box for kids to identify as cats. This was in response to a concerned parent who blasted the school at a school forum. Of course! If that was my kid there and that happens, I would literally flip. I'll take my kid out of school. I'll tell every single parent on my way out what they did. That is, yeah, I'm all for creativity and imagination. But when someone's lives in the fancy world expects other people to go along with it, I have a problem with that. Yes, thank you. Why are they trying to force people to go along with anything they want? They could one day identify as a fairy, a cat, or a dog. The next day, they can just be like, you know what? Now I'm actually a man. Then the next day, no, actually, am a different being. You can't call me human anymore. Like, you, it's just... When do people actually just say, we're not going along with this, mate. Like, we're not going along with this anymore. Ridiculous. So let's jump into this one here. This is from, this is what a Chinese person um, tweeted. The existence of furries as a social phenomenon is a symptom of a broken, declining society. If this view makes me bigoted, then I'm sorry to say reality is bigoted. Kind of agree with this. So here's one for you. So woke teachers have hijacked K-12 public education. This Teacher who doesn't know when America was founded says she teaches her students about protesting and activism but refuses to teach the curriculum. So this is where it starts, right? The teachers, this is where it starts. This is why it's so important for you, for you to know who your teachers are for your kids and what school you're sending them to because otherwise you could literally lose your kids, right? To this this. So I was a craziness. grade civics uh, teacher, government teacher, and she is an elementary school teacher. What year did we get our independence? <laughs> 17 something. We're teachers. I actually don't teach what's in our curriculum. I'm teaching children social studies that's not in our curriculum, teaching them things about how to be an anti-racist. I taught them about protesting. I taught them about Black Lives Matter. I taught them about Black Lives Matter. What, why is this important to like a young kid right you, you stand up for what's right not stand up for what the teacher thinks is right so pronouns lose in uniforms how schools became the gender wars frontline from the guardian 15 hours ago vic goddard principal of passmore secondary academy school in essex in the uk has no desire to get caught up in a culture war instead he has spent the summer planning how to cope with a three hundred and twenty thousand euro oh sorry 320,000 pound deficit as a result of spiraling energy bills and the national teacher's pay rise with no additional cash to pay for it. That's about 400,000, um, 450,000 maybe US dollars and about 600,000 Australian dollars, right? Why do politicians have an opinion on my school toilets, on our uniform policy, sort out the rocketing electricity bills and the cost of living, don't get involved in small decisions you don't add value to? So what he's trying to say is he doesn't want the government telling him you need to add another sex toilet in there, like a, you know, a no sex toilet. I don't know. Goddard is referring to what many schools up and down the country describe as apparent politicization of an increasingly incendiary issue that they are being forced to deal with on a regular basis. Gender, everything from toilet, single sex or unisex and uniforms, skirts or trousers, to reading materials and pupils. Pronouns is the subject of hostile debate in a way not witnessed previously, head teachers say. Let's jump into the next one. This is where this all leads, right? Katie Montgomery. No one is born a woman or a man. They are born babies. Meet Vaj. All right, so this is a Tinder profile, I believe. For Vaj, mammal at friend, dropout, girl boy, lives in New York, two miles away. About me, AFAB, trans, raccoon, soft, disturbed, Nice, five foot five, any pronouns, make music, draw pics, weird girl for weirdo, Varge, right? This is, this is where this leads um, more and more, just teachers that don't teach 
13 year old kids saying that they're a fairy, a cat, and the school going with it, and the parents going with it as well, seemingly. So, welcome to the future, guys. I just wanted to point this out to you. This is the thing that blows my mind there's no pushback. People are just going with it. No one's standing up to this stuff anymore. And it's just becoming normal, right? The more and more it's going to come normal. And the more and more you see kids online that are, you know, coming out of these weird things like fairies, for example. And they're getting all the support from random people online who are also, in my opinion, very mentally ill or just obviously want support, right? Are screaming out for help. So maybe it's just being brought up with not enough attention, not enough care. And a lot of things, factors can go into it. For example, you know, the teachers could get to him young and they can teach him certain ways of things and that's how they'll grow up to be, right? And yeah, there's a lot of things that go into it. But all I can say is look at your teachers, look at the school you're sending your kids to, actually pay attention into their education as it is the most important thing for a kid, right? It's how they get raised and what they, and what they learn, in my opinion. And more and more people just kind of throw their kids away, go to work. Because obviously this is the way we've been pushed, right? Because no more can you just raise a family on just one income, a normal income anyway, you know, not a, not a big income, but just a normal average income. You can't raise a family on that anymore in no country around the world with the cost of living. So what they want, that's why there's more and more grants for, you know, let's say after school care, all that type of stuff is because they want you to send your kids to the school and then send them to like, for example, after school care, so you can work. More people in the workforce is better for the government. More and more, more and more, more and more. And you can't get ahead because now two parents got to work. Now you don't pay enough attention to your kids. Now kids are getting raised worse and worse because they kind of, they don't have enough time to be able to put enough time into their kids because they want to get ahead in life. And then by that time, it's too late because these weirdos get to your kids before you do. I digress. Obviously a very, very touchy subject. And yeah, it gets everyone quite riled up especially when a year eight kid is a cat, right? But let me know what you think in the comments. Please subscribe if you want to support the channel and also like the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.